Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to try launching a satellite. So let's get in there. Alright, here we are at the Space Center. Let's get in the construction building. Alright, here we are inside the building. Let's make a larger rocket today. We're going to need it to get a satellite into orbit. This is a bigger command module. Yeah, see, see the size difference of those two command pods? Look at that. It's gigantic compared to the other one. All right. Now, uh, I think we're going to put the SAS outside of the command pod, because when we come back down, we want to splash down. We don't want to have anything else attached. I think that might have hurt us last time. So we're going to put a big old decoupler on there. Oh, and you know what? You know what? Before I forget, I'm going to put... There we go. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do, like, three parachutes. You can do these side mount parachutes here. We're going to do, like, three of those. Yeah. There we go. All right. So there's that. And now we need... We're going to put an extra SAS module on below that. And then we can start actually building our rocket, I believe. Let's stick a smaller tank on that. Well, that's still pretty huge. <laughs> but let's stick that on. That's smaller than the hugest one, anyway. I keep moving this thing up. We're going to need a lot of room. Move that up even more. There we go. Uh, now we need a engine on. The Poodle still has 220. Wow. That's the, that's the different one. That's the huge one. We don't need the biggest of the big. Look at, that. Look at how tiny that is. Alright, let's do this one. Alright. That's good. Another decoupler. There we go. There's our top stage. Now, that's going to be for, like, maneuvering in orbit. We're going to need to a stage to get us into orbit. And then a stage to get us off the ground. I, I think that's generally how you do it. So, a big fuel tank to help us get into orbit. Once we get some decent distance off the ground. I think that's all we need in that stage. I mean, just that and, a, and an engine. Let's put a mainsail. Actually, I guess we can use like a maybe a slightly smaller one. Let's do the skipper. Skipper is 650, mainsail is 1500 thrust. Holy crap. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and a decoupler there. Oh, this is going to start to get too big. We might want to put some struts on this or something, because these things tend to get wobbly when they have a lot of stages like this. Yeah, this is going to be kind of wobbly, I think. All right, well, I had to fidget with that a little bit, but got those on. Looks a little funny. I don't know that this is how NASA would do it. All right, <laughs> let's put some mainsail engines on those guys, too. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this is if this is how it would do. All right, let's just let's just try that and see what it looks like when it launches. Okay, um, we also need a couple of these guys. I think that'll be okay. That uh, is not exactly how that was supposed to work, I think, but whatever. USS, oops, USS survivable. There we go. The USS survivable. Save. Launch. It's all clear, and oh my god, oh my god, it's falling apart already! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> we haven't even we haven't even launched, and we are we are failing here. <laughs> Is it because it's just it's all just hanging off there? Well, I think that 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 shows us what's going to happen in in flight. <laughs> right. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to go fix that and then come back to the pad. Okay, we're back on the pad. See, check out. I put all these little put a bunch of these struts on, these little connectors that go between modules, these little legs. 
I also put some on between the stages too, although they're not really displaying correctly. You can see like the connection points right here if you look real closely, but for some reason they don't like display on the outside of the vehicle. Not sure exactly what that is. All right, this thing looks like it is not going to win. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to try launching this, and then we'll tr then we'll spend some time on a satellite and see if we can actually get <laughs> get it get it anywhere. All right, let's just see if it launches. Throttle up, SAS on, and launch. Well, okay, it's it's going. Yeah, I think this is actually going. Oh. Um, is it tilting to the side a little bit there? I'm not exactly sure what the what's going on. Oh no, that was just my view. Uh oh, oh crap! Oh son of a bitch! <laughs> I blew up the engines. Oh god damn it! God damn it! All right, well it 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 flies as long as the the pilot is competent. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, now that stage is going to be after we get into orbit. So it's going to be right after this one that we want to be able to fire off this one. Alright, so this one is that right there. And that top one is probably going to be one of these, right? Yeah, that one right there. So we want to add an extra stage so that we don't decouple this guy, but we decouple this guy first. So we're going to get into orbit, fire that off, decouple the satellite, decouple that, and then parachute back safely to Earth. Good. Let's go. Throttle up. Everything good. Launch. SAS is on. Yeah, so there there might have been a little bit of wobble in it before. But I think that was just from <laughs> might have just been me moving my camera around. Okay, they're overheating. Better throttle down. So we're gonna get up to about ten thousand feet. Make that forty-five degree turn over the ocean there. Looking good. We're still overheating just a little bit. Those solid fuel boosters are running down fast. That's expected. As soon as we drop those, that'll be... we'll have gotten some some boost out of them, but then we can lose the weight, so that'll be good. Yeah, we'll get some, some velocity out of them. That looks good. That looks good. Those are dead. Drop them away. See you guys right down on the launch complex. <laughs> These are all going to go. There we go. Those guys are dropping away. Back on the launch complex too, probably. We're a little rotated, but I don't think that's a problem. I think uh, the, the higher up you go, the more you can throttle up these big engines, because they tend to overheat when you're in the atmosphere, but when you're out of the atmosphere, they... They don't. I, I have this guy all the way up right now, and um, he's just a skipper. He's not the he's not the mainsail, but I think even these guys can overheat. I think. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong there. Okay, we're gonna keep turning here. There we go. It's we're high enough so that it's considering us to have kind of an orbit. What does our orbit orbit map look like? Are we still climbing? Oh, we're not climbing quite enough. Let's go ahead and lower this down just a tad. I want to make sure that we're still climbing pretty significantly rather than just going just going laterally. Okay, we're approaching a good height. The top of our orbit. Our highest point is getting to 70,000. Okay, there's about 70,000. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're actually thrusting towards the horizon here. And let's make this a circular orbit. Or just any kind of orbit. Let's get make sure our highest point is about seventy thousand ish. Yeah, seventy six thousand. Okay, that's good. Four seconds, three, two, one, and let's burn. Full throttle. We got about 25 seconds it's estimating. Hopefully we got that in our tank. We do have one more tank we can use to maneuver if we need to. It's a it's a lot less powerful though. Yeah, that's all right. We just got 15 more seconds here on this stage. That'll be that'll be totally fine. We we'll want to fix our orbit a little bit after that. Yeah. See how this thing is moving? It's cuz we're just a, we were just a little bit off to begin with. 
So let's get this on the blue dot and burn a little bit more. Perfect. Perfect. Get rid of that maneuver so we can see what we're looking at. 73,000. 90,000. That is... That is pretty close. That's that's close enough, I think. Good. Great. And that's that's just a little bit off of the equator. But that, that, I think that might be good. In future launches, we'll have less of a chance of hitting that thing. <laughs> that's pretty... Pretty pretty damn unlikely, but... Yeah? Is that good? Our height 74,000. That's not going down. Great! Alright, now let's drop this satellite into orbit. Let's go ahead and point the satellite backwards from where we're moving. So we shoot it off the other way. Is that about right? Let's make sure that we're actually, like, right here, right in the center, right in the center line, so we don't drop it, we don't shoot it off towards the planet or anything like that, so it doesn't degrade. I don't know if that actually, if that'll actually happen, but... Um, yeah? Yeah. That's good. Alright, here we go. Next stage is... that guy. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, look at that! Look at that, that is perfect. That is perfect. He had a little bit of... He had a little bit of thrust from... From the decoupler. Alright. Alright, now that he's there, let's head back to the Space Center. And from this complex here, we can this is our this is our our radar and telescope and monitoring site. We can see all our things in orbit. There's our USS survivable and the probe in orbit. We can actually switch to the probe now. Alright, and here we are. Here's the probe. We can't really see it too well because we're on the dark side. Let's go ahead and go over to the light side. <laughs> wow. Look at look, look how far away we're getting from the from the rocket. That's good. We want to be far away from the rocket. Alright, here's the light side. Oh yeah, that looks that looks beautiful. Uh, look at that guy. All right, so we can actually deploy stuff here now that we have this thing going. Let's get the solar panels out. Look at that pointed right at the sun. Let's get this one out. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and we can get our com dish deployed. And let's deploy these little antennas, too. And we have Kerbin's first satellite in orbit. Let's check the batteries. Yep, batteries are filling up almost 100% already. Great, yeah. So these, these solar panels are totally working. Sweet. Good job, guys. Now let's get that ship back to Earth. And here we are, back at the ship. Now we need to put a maneuver node in. Let's get ourselves... How, how far are we from the, the probe? Maybe we'll... Um, let's do it. Let's just do kind of a manual maneuver here. Point ourselves straight at the planet and get ourselves a little bit out of this orbit with the, the probe. Let's thrust a little bit. Actually, let's just thrust a lot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're getting below the, the probe now. So we don't have to worry about hitting that thing. Alright, with that maneuver, we're below the threshold for keeping an orbit, I think. So we should be able to just kind of speed up time. Here, let's go back out to the map view again. Speed up time and watch our orbit decay. There we go. 10x. As soon as we hit... Wait, where are we? Okay, we're below 70,000 now. So we should start to see that orbit decay a little bit. We can only go up to like 4... 4x right now. Yep. 
Yeah, it's already naturally decaying. So let's just go ahead and burn. Whoa, 4x is fast. Okay. <laughs> Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that lesson. <laughs> All right. Uh, pointed at the cross. Oh, no, I pressed space. Oh, no, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, well, like I said, we're still, we're decaying anyway. It just might take a bunch of orbits. Okay, we'll just come back. I'll, uh, I'll come back after we've waited quite a while and decayed the orbit. <laughs> All right, I think we're approaching the moment of truth, guys. Whoa, okay, okay, uh, turn SAS off. Whoa, okay, re-entry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, why did I already deploy the parachutes? Oh, I hope they don't burn up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> come on, hang in there, Bill and Bob and Bob for... That's a, that's a funny name. All right. Uh, 7,000. Oh, this is so tense. 5,000 meters. They're coming in really hot. 3,000 meters. 2,000 meters. 1,000. Are they going to deploy? Oh, no! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, well, there's the mission report, guys. 4758, liftoff. And then 107, structural failure. Destroyed. Killed. Destroyed. Yeah, not, not optimal. Not optimal. They don't include the fact that we succeeded in getting a satellite in orbit. So, you know, that was good. We got something in space, and it's going to stay in space. And it's not going to blow up, probably, unless we run into it. Well, <laughs> we're going to try again next time, see if we can get some people to live, get some more stuff in orbit, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. Maybe we're going to go to the moon. Talk to you later.